Something real quick. I want to drop this video real quick. Uh, my daughter just started school. Uh, just started kindergarten. Very happy to go to school. She loves it, man. I'm telling you guys, she loves it. I'm very happy and I'm very thankful for that. I would love for all my children to finish school all the way up until high school. I would love for them to see them walk that big stage uh, senior year of high school and everything. All right, let me get into the subject and everything. I ain't finna waste our time chitter chapping and uh, spitting that booty chatter. Anyway, let's get into it. <laughs> all right, Monday, um, my old lady and my oldest daughter had to go up there to the schoolhouse and everything. And... It is so stupid with these new policies, you guys, ever since this Rona situation. It is really fucking stupid. And I'm going to call it out for what it is. I don't give a damn. Here's how my daughter ended up going to school. Okay. We agreed that we was going to put her, we was going to have her homeschooled and the virtual learning. Because we don't like the policies. We don't agree with what's going on with the, with the, uh, with the educational system ever since this COVID-19 shit ended up uh, coming out of the goddamn blue moon. It is so stupid that we got to have an app on our phone for a daily pass or some shit like that. This is what LA Unified School District. And you might live in LA County and live in the surrounding areas of Long Beach, LA. Y'all know this stupid new fucking shit you got to have with an app. You got to have a fucking daily pass or whatever. Shit don't make no darn sense. I'm being serious. Shit really don't make no fucking sense. Okay. Now, here's what I want to get into. Here's what I want to get into is... When my girl went up there, she was telling me what happened because Monday I was... Dude, up Monday I was fucking... I was fucking trashed like a motherfucker. Like, I mean, I had a super fucking hangover. This past weekend I had to let myself... I had to let loose and just... uh you know, get turned up, whatever. Anyway, she went up there. They was in line, and there was a bunch of Karen bitches up there. Yes, you will be all. You guys will be surprised right now. There was a bunch of Karen bitches up there. Like I mean, she told me, <laughs> she told me this one. This shit had me fucking rolling, bro. I guess when they was all in the office or some shit like that. Um. I guess a custodian or a janitor was walking through the hallway with no mask on and a Karen bitch had the right to say, oh, I saw somebody walking through the hallway with no mask on and all this and that and everything, making a big, huge fucking deal about it. And that's when my girl was just telling me, she was like, she was like, you right. There's a lot of people out here that are just brainwashed. I'm like, yeah, man. And I told her, like I told you, you're going to be seeing what I'm talking about. I'm like, I don't even got to tell you nothing no more. I'm like, you see it for your own eyes. And it was this other lady up there that we know. And she was tripping out too, saying, like, why are they making why are they making these kids go back to school for knowing that quote unquote cases are rising? So why are they making our children go back to school for? You would think if they really gave a shit, they would not they they would not allow our kids to go back to public school, they will keep it virtual learning. That's what y'all would think, right? And I'm like, yeah, that's why. I, I don't know. I don't trust. I don't trust the educational system right now, you guys, because all the fuck they seem to care about is COVID nineteen tests, COVID this, COVID that, COVID this, COVID that, like all extras and everything. That's all they seem to fucking care about. Like they don't give a shit about their, their, uh, their. Uh, they don't give a shit about their fucking well. Learning their ABCs, how to count, and all this and that. You know what I'm saying? Their academics and every, their academic, their academics and everything. Like they don't give a fuck about that. All they keep preaching to the kids, and they trying to preach this bullshit to our, to the parents and everything. It's about COVID this, COVID that. They gotta get a, they gotta get a COVID test and all this and that. Like they're not even giving a fuck about if they got homework or not. Like I'm being serious with you, you guys right now. To all the parents watching this shit right now, be involved with your with your kids schooling and education and everything. Get involved, especially if you got little kids that's in the elementary school, kindergarten and whatnot, get involved. Get involved because it's a motherfucker out here right now, y'all. And think, and if I was, see, I should've went Monday. If I wasn't feeling like shit, I should've went Monday because 
I would have put, I would have put, I would have put some of them. I would have put some of those uh, employees that work at the, that work at the school. I would have put their ass in a fucking place. What the fuck? Who the hell are they at these damn schools to be, to be uh, talking to us like the fuck? I'm like, nah, uh, nah, uh. Because here was the issue was, I guess a lot of parents didn't create a a parent account for their kid and everything. That's what the issue was. They didn't create an account. <sighs> they didn't create an account, a parent portal or whatever. They didn't create that daily pass. So I guess it was a big mess. And to myself, I was thinking like, you work for us. Our money from our taxes is going into your pockets. And you mean to tell us that you can't help us set up the parent portal account when you work here at the school and everything? I'm like... To myself, I was just thinking like that's just pure laziness. They're just taking advantage of the system and milking the system for milking milking money from the system and everything. I don't know. To each his own about this one, y'all. That's just how the way I feel. Um, I don't know. Only thing I can tell tell to tell to all the parents and the legal guardians out here is to be involved in your children's education. Ask your kids what they're doing throughout the school day. Make sure that they feel comfortable going to school. Make sure that they like going to school. Make sure that your kids is okay. I don't give a damn if they're acting bad at school or whatever the situation may be. Have your kids back. Because those te those faculty, all those personnel at, at, the, uh, at the schoolhouse and everything, a lot of times they don't give a shit. They just worried about getting that check every week or every month or having a fucking way to get paid and everything. That's all the hell they seem to be fucking worried about. Yeah. Oh, and then another thing. Hold on, nothing for in this video. They, this is very true. This is what LA Unified. They don't feed the kids breakfast in the morning. I guess us parents, well, which is a good thing. We got to feed them breakfast before they go to school. They only, they only, they, they only, they only able to eat snack and lunch, and that's it. That's the main thing that I be talking about. Our children going to school and they're being malnutritioned and everything. Like, come on. Cause I know damn well when my daughter was homeschooled and everything, she was eating breakfast, lunch, dinner, all that shit, full belly and everything. So that's why I'm just worried. As a father, I'm worried about my daughter, man. I'm worried about my daughter, and also I'm worried about the, all the other kids up there as well too, man. Real shit though. Parents, wake the fuck up. Be involved in your children's learning, and make sure your kids is safe and comfortable of going back to regular public school. Like I said, I'm an overprotective father. I will kill him, man. I will send some motherfuckers to the morgue in a body bag over my goddamn children and my family, y'all. Other than that, y'all have a great day today, and I'll uh, see you guys on the next one.